Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to our Byzantium run in E4 with me, your host, Lugamarine, where we have just pieced out of a war with the Ottomans for stuff and things. I was thinking a little bit earlier on about the access thing that we have with uh, with Bosnia and about him just willingly granting access to everybody if we were to put him on scootage. I mean, we're not getting anything from him anyway. Um, if we were to put him on scootage. I mean, he's not going to pay us anything because he's 100% living his eye, but he's also not going to get you involved in our wars anyway. If we enable the scootage, he will, be, he will no longer be called to wars, but he will no longer feel the need to get access with anybody. So, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that with both of them. I don't really need to do it with Sauron, but... We will. We will. And I'm also thinking of grabbing a claim on Bosnia. Because sometimes you get the event where do you want to take this province off um, your vassal. And I think that would be useful for getting through Bosnia and touching tips with uh, Hungary. What province what do we want though? Probably Solicitor, actually. Yeah, we don't want to get cor corridored into the uh, Fort Province. This will give us access to two. There's a Fort there as well, though. Um, Taking Dubrovnik. We can't fabricate on Lika, Lika. Nope, we'll uh, we'll try to take Slistria. <clears throat> also, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop Hung Hungary being a rival as soon as I can. I think they are a von Hasburg. They may get chewed up a little bit, but if we can maintain a a raw marriage with them, without specifically an alliance we can do claiming of throne shenanigans so improving the relations with the hungry and let's bring our people back oh we already are where are you heading yep rebels Nope, you can't be a march. I'm sorry. And Tunis wants Condor Terry. Why? Oh my word. Telemson got big. Telemson got really, really big. Okay. Who are you mates with? Rocco. Rocco and Telemson. They might be. They might end up being an effective foil for Aragon. But, well, I say Aragon. It's essentially Castile, isn't it? Who's at mates with France? So it's this blob. Okay. Alright. What have we got here? Land transports and 20. Where's up? Did my trade fleet? Yeah. My trade fleet's there. Do you need upgrading or anything? No. Can we build more ships? We can. We probably should then. Let's start kicking the arse out of diverting trade. And ability. The ability needs a little bit. Let's give you let's give you something. 49% berries. We know the nobility likes the berries. Is there anything that we can take off you? Let's go down to 25%. There it is. Yeah, we can take the 25% province off you. Drops to zero. <clears throat> Which is a big jump from 25% autonomy all the way down to zero. It is a hefty jump. And we can replace that with 4% iron, maybe? Copper, should I say? Or two provinces.
49. Uh, we'll give them 4%. That should be enough. Yeah, just bang on. Is there anything else that we can take off people? I can take Burgess off you. Let's do that. And that drops down to zero again. Again, it's, it's, it's money in our pocket. It's money, it's manpower, it's, it's trade power. It's, it's in our pocket instead of theirs. I don't mind giving them... 49% there and 39% here. Just to make up for it. Go down to 30. Anything up here? Done. Not really. The uh, the merchants always want to have the uh, the sense of trade. You're down to 25%, but I think that still has a way to go. Although... We can swap out. You've got a way to go as well. Yeah, I could swap you out. Yep. Yeah, still thought I had a, a way to go, but we, we can give them salt. And we can give them fish. That works out better for us. By about 2%. But that'll come down. Anything else? Anything else down to the 25%? Nope. Okay. That's a good amount from trade. So where next? Where next? I should have watched the last episode, but it's still uh, it's still uploading. Where next? I think it was Mamluks. Who would declare war upon you? Neither of you will come in. Poseidon, Homos would but you are still at war with the ottomans which i imagine oh our common commonwealth zero manpower i reckon we could do the mamluks miltech 11 to our miltech 12 You're still at war with the Ottomans, because the Ottomans kicked off with Karaman, didn't they? And we never got a claim, because I assumed that the Ottomans were going to take them out in their entirety. If we can sneak in there and have a, a, a quick war on Karaman, whilst Karaman has access to Ottoman lands, therefore he might be over here. Okay, we'll do that. We will do that. I know we're on the cusp of... Yeah, all of this. All of this. Do have a relations advisor. I have Diplo rep at the moment. Diplo rep we are using to try to get on the throne of the Commonwealth. We have a young heir and a good percentage chance to uh, increase our points month on month right how much people state no longer considers Byzantium as a rival great excellent that should stop that should stop them from supporting that I'm hoping <clears throat> Wait, what? Fable yeah, okay. Is that gonna take? Alright, so they're only threatened. Have you now stopped this as a shenanigans? You haven't, not just yet. Okay. Well, they might do. They may well stop. I'm hoping so. <clears throat> Who's gonna... Ottomans? <laughs> the Ottomans are gonna take out my rebels. I feel bad for him. Do not feel bad for that though. You can deal with that on your own. Let's have a look at... What Bosnia have? Nope. Hmm, I want to one. It's not gonna be good for him. 
Still, he deserves to get messed up a little bit. Alright, so we don't we don't need to be uh, heading off that way then, do we? Uh, let's split and half, at the very least, end up the other way. Get them on boats, get them to Cyprus, so we can uh, quickly get in on to ISIL. Okay, okay, and what is this random set of boats we've got here? Galleys, let's get you away. Why have I got random troops here? When did I build them? Did I build troops instead of boats? I did not. Or are we just getting up to our limit? Now we've got a limit of 42. Loss of trade protection CP against France. Why is that? Still got us as a rival. Which is odd. I reckon when their superpower appears here. Probably Bohemia actually. Bohemia or Austria. They may they may flip. Can't believe they don't have England as a rival. Can't believe they don't have England. Oh well. Caraman's doing well actually. No, stop asking. Caraman's doing really well. <clears throat> if, Car if this is Caraman, no, it's Mamluks. I was going to say if this was Caraman on the, uh, the Ottoman capital, they might get some of the land back. You're 60, you're 31, you're at the point where you might die. That would be interesting. Uh, but you got a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller. And we need to be fabricating on Bosnia, don't we? Georgian separatists back on the fault. All right, let's go. Put a five shock general in charge. He was really good. This was a good roll. All the pips where you need them. Trade efficiency or all the ducats. We make a lot of money from trade though. The majority of our money comes from trade. I think the trade efficiency is going to be better for us there. For 10 years, trade efficiency plus 15% and 50 diplo. See what impact that has on 17 to 90. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Plus the, the diplo points. Diplo points are always good. Admin points are better. But, oh well. Mamluks are still on your capital. And Muscovy wants condottieri. Why? You only usually ask for condottieri if you're in a bit of a state. Defender against Denmark. Why does Denmark think that it can fight Muscovy? Why does Denmark think... Oh, he's in Commonwealth, but Commonwealth we've already... We've already seen they have zero manpower. So Muscovy. Sweden's not even on the first page. <clears throat> Denmark's not even on the first page. That's going to be an interesting fight. How have you suddenly jumped to 24? How have you suddenly jumped to 24 points? Is it an event? Do you get to add more points to your tally from events? I don't know. They have an 11% chance to increase their, their points per month. They've put 24. They weren't that far ahead of us. 
Could have sworn they were not that half that far ahead of us. Right. Let's make you a quarter as well. Uh, yeah, I think I want to maintain with Hungary. I want to maintain with Hungary because I don't want the alliance. I want to continue being able to get raw marriages. If we can get the raw marriage, like when we claimed the Austrian throne, we could go to war because we had the alliance, and the alliance, yeah, it had taken far too long for the alliance to wear off. Five years. So you want you want raw marriages, but you don't want the alliance that comes with it. So I kind of want to be in this state. I'd rather have not had rivaled them. That was short-sighted on my part. But oh well, we'll uh, we'll deal with it. Conversion successful, splendid. Next. Yeah, this isn't taking long, is it? And where is the tech? I haven't checked in a while. Uh you need a 20 dev capital for this tech to generate. Which would mean either moving a capital back to Constantinople, which is easily 20 dev, or increasing this. Or stealing Karaman off the Ottomans, eventually. Do I think that that tech is going to spread it to us naturally? Yeah, it should do. Yeah, it should do. We'll be alright. We'll be alright. And our ships are starting to get pumped out. Do we have any rebels? Not really. Full humanist. Full humanist to save our beans and our manpower. Let's just group all of you together. We'll have you protect trade. Not in Constantinople, we already have more than enough power here. Um, Law of diminishing returns means that we'd need a hundred ships to, to start boosting this any higher. From Crimea, uh, we do have any ships in Crimea. That well, We do already take the majority of this. Alexandria. We already have 20 ships down here. There is a fairly big chunk that gets taken out though. And it is quite rich node. We'll try Alexandria. If I can bump this up to about five. If we can if we can pull the majority of it out this way. Then it's Constantinople, then I'll be happy. This is the uh, depiction of the chain across the the Bosphorus, Golden Horn, I think it was called, which was really effective. You can uh, see pictures of it online, or remnants of the chain. Lose a hundred ducats or local unrest. No, I can lose the ducats. So we'll see what this has changed to, and what this changes to. 4.28. 15.5 4 16 Okay, alright Now we can take an idea. The last idea is Diplo tech cost minus 10% and load impact on stability from diplomatic actions. Brilliant. It means we can uh, we, we can go around willy-nilly marrying people. If we were to Oh my god, diplomats are then. If we were to break royal ties with Austria now, I'll, I'll wait until the claims are coming. Instead of costing a stability, it'll cost just one prestige. So now we have to. Yeah. Oh, Austria. 
No, we'll, we'll concentrate on getting hungry first. We've already got a royal marriage with hungry. <clears throat> He's 11. He might die off. That's a really good leader as well. We've already got a royal marriage, but we don't have the alliance. It means we can... Yeah. No one. Oh, well. And how is everybody? Still 100 at liberty desire. Papal state is still supporting their independence. Alright, where's my transports? I think we're going to be needed soon. Transport this 16 stack over towards... Actually, no. Yes. Over to Cyprus. We'll get vision on what's in ISIL itself. We still have mercenaries, but... I think I'm alright with it. I think I'm alright with it. Preserve some of our manpower when we go to war. We can set them on sieges. We do have ideas that bring the cost of them down. 25%. Yeah. And we can afford them. Still no one here. Oh, they peaced out. They peaced out and they picked up Najd. Najd. Really good um, candidate for a one faith. Mission strength plus two. Yeah. Stacks loads and loads and loads of mission strength. But I. Yeah, they probably would get to us. Um, Mamluks would immediately allow them through. So we'd have to stack on Caraman. And probably on Adana as well. If the. Uh, yeah. If the. Mom looks like them through. So yeah, we'll bring everybody down here. Including you two. And as long as this keeps Bosnia entertained and weak, I don't, I don't care. How many could we fit on Cyprus? 36. Oh, okay. Might as well do some drilling whilst we're there. Swap you across, get you drilling. And that is our claim on both of you. I saw. And I'll claim on Celestry. Okay. Fine. Fine. I won't then. I don't know how many people are shouting at me for that. Well, it made sense in my head. I went to war with ISIL. I can guarantee, I can guarantee the Mamluks would give access. At that point we don't have to land on their face, we can just walk through the land. Because the Mamluks will give access so Nash can merge up with them. Because they hate our guts. Good. And uh, we can get involved in a war. I like breaking with Austria. Why? Why? For reasons unknown. Austria's allied, it's a Byzantine rival, Hungary. Austria's allied, it's a Byzantine rival, Aragon. Ooh. <clears throat> okay. Interesting. Uh, 
Okay, you come back. Let's demonstrate if we were to break the royal marriage ourselves with Austria. If it's a break royal ties here, it wouldn't cost us a stability, it cost us just one prestige, which is nothing. Meaning you can go and play the Game of Thrones. Uh, <clears throat> well, we're up to 20 now. France has stopped. France doesn't have a diplomat locked on Commonwealth anymore. Okay, we might catch up to him. We might get beyond him. Soon, hopefully. And let's declare this war. Declare war for ISIL. Let's leave... I don't know why I'm leaving five ships in the strait. There's, there's no navy to... Uh, to fight us. It's not as if Najd is a... Well, they do have a bit of a navy, I suppose. Alright, give that a tick. Yep, just as I expected. Try and contain that six, so he's not. He's not doing silly things, does? We'll poop one troop out in Marmaluke land, so you can never um, take back the access and leave us stranded somewhere. No, you're going to get black flagged there. There he is. What do you have? Do you have a cannon? Yep. And you have a mercenary. We might as well use the mercenaries. And you can move as well. In fact, no, 14 stack stay here just in case we end up with Najd people here. Although this is counted as owned by the Ottomans and I can't imagine they have access. If we don't have access through the Ottomans, then I can't imagine they do either. Are you really taking that? We have a five, oh, we've taken a minus two. That was stupid. Stop. It works. And you can get all the way back. So we'll shadow, we'll shadow you all the way back. <clears throat> oh no, you're off to Najd. Okay, we'll go all the way around the other side. Looks like the Ottomans are pushing back slightly. I mean, they do have the capital sieged. <clears throat> Let's split out that mercenary. Sit him on the siege. Let's take away at least one real person. Good. Oh, they do have access to the Ottomans. Yeah, maintain for the time being. Oh, disease outbreaks. <clears throat> Good. Arms tradition, navy tradition on military power. So 100 military power though. But no, we'll go for this, I think. It's in our best interest to try to keep Austria around. Twenty-three to France is twenty-five. How old is he? Fifty-four. We might get that. 
We might get that. Only 17 months? I oh, will take that. Also, if you have got... Well, not really. And it's not spreading into you by huge amounts, is it? If we take Ice Hold, then we might get spread from the Ottomans. It'll be really slow because of the hay our gut, but spread is spread. Yeah, the Ottomans, even though they've got like three provinces, five provinces open to them, they're still, uh, still wielding a hefty amount, although they did just get rid of a load of troops there. Yep, yeah, not even on the first page. Yeah, they got rid of a load of troops there. I don't know if they were mercenaries, but... Yeah, squished. That should be the Ottomans out, I think. One would assume. And we can take admin tech. Let's do that right now. We've got through our ideas. Let's start catching up on Diplo and admin. A little bit of a penalty, but I'll take that. I thought the Ottomans had been out of here a long time ago. Okay. Okay. Sunni zealots. Let's take them out. Don't want no Sunni zealots. Oh, somebody who asked, was asking. Um, it, it'd be quite a few videos again. Uh, quite a few videos ago now because I'm quite far ahead. But they asked. Uh, what do they have? They asked if. Uh, I'd turn Bosnia into Orthodox. And then I said that the, the tolerance that Bosnia, because this was all Orthodox land, the tolerance that Bosnia inherently has tolerance of heretics plus four and a religious unity, he might not feel the need to, uh, to convert all this stuff. So I might leave him Catholic. But he has. Which is unfortunate, but oh well. Oh well. I'll get you squished. Poop one out. And away we go. Now just go through just go through the easy way. Two provinces that mean flipped sunny. He should be able to deal with that. Okay. Okay. And I would like this. Who is going to be mega uber mad with us? <clears throat> Karaman, but Karaman's not going to exist. Which will stop the coalition from forming here. The coalition that we were going to have. Of the Mamluk Sultan's Karaman. Karaman now no longer will exist. And that's just a matter of time before we get that. Let's have you down to Teke. Lost our claim on Nostra. That's alright. It might stop him from being so mad with us. Leave. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave it here. I'll be looking around. as always. You lot have been amazing. Join me next time for more with Byzantium. I uh, will peace out with uh, with Caraman. We'll take ISIL. And we're not too far away. 1562. Oh, we are. Who else could we go to war with? Georgia. We could go to war with Georgia tomorrow. And that's a big Armenia that's, uh, that's popped up. And Georgia no longer has any forts. It's just a capital fort. Okay. That's going to be worth getting into. Let's bring our guy from Austria back. Have a last little check of you. Within, within two of France. Okay. So until next time. Do take care.